Hi, this is update number four. I did some resin, so I have this clover, this clover, this orange tulip, a bow, mamagoma. Let's get it to focus. There we go. This fail mamagoma, as you can see, there are a ton of bubbles. And I use sequins in the back. And I guess I'm okay with the bubbles because I think it kind of gives off a pretty cool effect. Like it's underwater. So, yeah. I have this mamagoma one. I made this and I use beads and glitter for the second layer. I made this one and as you can see I made a little mistake right here. But I still like it and it's pretty thin. I made this e walking one. As you can see, the resin kind of changed the color of the sticker on the outer rims. And I made this. You walk in one. Um, this part is resin, and this part is polymer clay. And the resin changed the color of the sticker on the sides of this as well. I also put together this bookmark, so that's what that looks like. So I made the arrow out of polymer clay, and I plan on painting it gold. So this is Hunger Games inspired. The Hunger Games inspired, so yeah. That's what that looks like. I just set it right here. Um, I also went to Japantown and I bought a few things. Um, I'll just show you the interesting things. So, I bought this capybara sand. Um, and you put your key right here. There's a loop in there. And there's a cable so you can pull it. I thought it was really cute, so I bought it, and this is what that looks like. So it works like that. Inside and the back. So I bought that, and I bought these silicone molds, which I will be using for resin. Um, yeah. And I also bought some food. I bought some taiyaki and um, melon bread. So yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And yeah, bye.